This topic is about what is it that QTP is really built on? What are those fundamental blocks that HP Quick Test Professional or Unified Functional Testing Tool really built on? And the most important aspects that I want to be able to communicate to each of you are these. All right? There are various components within QTP. And now this gives you a glimpse, glimpse of what you're going to really learn. Then what are you supposed to really learn and focus? Then what is it that you would be expected to know when you get into a project, if you're not already in one, or if you need to face an interview where your, be, your skill is being tested. All right. From my perspective team, here are the main things. Uh, I must have missed a few things, but at a high level, uh, this is what it is. Let me increase the font so it's easy for you to see what I'm writing here. Now let's go to 2036. Too big? Oh, this is good. The first is automation fundamentals team. Unless you know the basic building blocks, which is, is it efficient, reusable, accuracy, and keep that in the back of your mind. It is just not needed for you to make the next steps towards automation. Unless you know the importance of return on investments and how your whole thing should approach, how you need to build it on a stage by stage, right, one at a time, you should not get into it. So that fundamental background is important. And this will come through experience. But however, as you go through learning, Keep this in mind. Why is automation needed? Ask those right questions to yourself and you will get the answers. The next thing is VB scripting. The reason I say the scripting is important is this. QTP, there is something called as out of the box. What is out of the box team? Out of the box is what does the product come by itself? then you have all these add-ons or customizations that you could do. All right? Scripting or VB script in this case, which is linked with QTP, is the programming language that is given to you to be able to customize how things should work. And why is customization important? Because every application is unique. There are commonalities in how they behave. There are lots of applications which do exactly the same thing. But inherently, there are some differences that exist with every application. And that is the primary reason that you need to be able to customize things. So my need is different from someone else's need. It is as good as saying, you know what, let's all live in a condominium, which is exactly the same. That is fine. But let's say your family is growing or you need a swimming pool or you need uh, to be able to build uh, a new office at the back or uh, create a new room that you won't extend, or you have a very large family, or you have a lot of gatherings, then what do you do at that time, team? You will need to build a custom home, correct? So the ability to take a product as is and customize it is very important. I don't know why I have this screen, but that scripting power, that VB script that it does, is it takes you from wherever you are, the basic, to the next level. And unless you know scripting, you can really not go beyond step one, which is that record and run, which will come to you. Scripting by itself will not make a lot of sense, team, if you don't know how to debug the scripts. That is, to take defects out of your own development, that mini development that we will do. And irrespective of where you are in your career, if you know development, you do not know you are from a non-IT background, you are non, from a non-computer science or engineering background, VB scripting is one of the easiest things to learn and my videos will walk you through and breeze through them. Now, the only challenge is give yourself time. Spend a little time on it, practice on it. My best advice is for someone to watch the videos that I have as, as a movie, finish it without practicing the first time, the second time, repeat it or repeat it on a different uh, 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 application because I have, I have so many videos right now. That can give you a good strong hold on it. And that is when you will become better at it. VB scripting and the ability to debugging is very important. 
Then comes something called as object identification and descriptive programming. This concept team is all about uh, two very essential things which is very very important in terms of uh, automation and that is called what and where. As we go along into the first few sessions and how object oriented programming will work, I will get into it. But this is just like a high level index of what you're going to learn. How do you identify something called as objects which are nothing but different components in a website. So we were looking at Geico.com, right? So each thing in it is a specific uh, feature and each how you identify everything together is basically very important. That will play a big role. And as part of it comes something called as descriptive programming. One of the most simplex, uh, simple concepts, but unless you learn it in the right manner. Okay? I've seen people really sweating on three areas on QTP. They'll say VB scripting is a nightmare, descriptive programming is a nightmare, and then framework is far away. I know these are the challenges. Trust me, the videos that I have and what we'll be doing will really help you to walk you through them at ease. The next one is something called as the true framework expertise. And by this I mean, what are automation frameworks? Why is it needed? What framework to use where? How do we go about building from the scratch? And finally, it is all about taking this entire idea, building something, using it, improving it. And then building something again or rebuilding or customizing it further, using it and improving it. That is about it. And then you are an automation engineer, expert. Give yourself six months to two years doing this team and you will automatically be one of the top automation experts in the whole world. The reason I say this is I know for a fact that people come and say that, hey, you know what, uh, I'm very good in QTP. And then some basic questions, they really falter. Why? Because they have not built the knowledge on these fundamental concepts. So if you're someone who's looking very seriously, you need to focus on these basic building blocks and this is what we're going to be doing.